Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over the best way on how to find the LCD or LCM, known as the least common divisor or least common multiple. Now, before we take a look at an example, um, let's go over what the definition of the LCD is. So what is uh, an LCD or the LCD? Well, we're not talking about LCD TVs here. We're talking about a special kind of number. Okay, so the definition of LCD um, of two or more numbers is the smallest number that two or more numbers can go into evenly. Two or more numbers going into the LCD evenly basically means that the LCD is divisible by the two or more numbers. Okay, so if the LCD is divisible by those numbers, that means when you divide the LCD by those numbers, you do not have a remainder, okay? That's what it means to go into evenly or to be divisible by. All right, before we take a look at uh, some examples, let's go over the strategy for uh, finding uh, the LCD, okay? Now, first thing you want to do is you want to decompose the numbers into prime factors, okay? And this can be accomplished using um, your factor tree. Now, after decomposition, you're going to create your LCD chart. Now, your lowest common divisor chart is a tool that can help you to organize your numbers and the factors in such a way that you can extract um, the LCD with ease, okay? So after creating your LCD chart, you're going to align the numbers vertically on the left, okay, on the left side. Now, after um, aligning your numbers vertically on the left side of the LCD chart, you're then going to populate um, the rows of your, of your LCD chart using the prime factors of the numbers that you decomposed uh, in, in step one, okay? Now, there is a strategy that you use or a method that you use to um, put in these uh, prime factors. Now, when you put in the prime factors, you want to do it in such a way that only the same factors are in the same column. I'll be illustrating that to you in a minute. So, if a, if a prime factor does not match um, another factor in the same column, you have to go to the next column and put the prime factor there. Now, after um, filling all the columns in your LCD chart using this method, you just simply bring down all the factors in the columns, uh, all the factors um, in the columns with numbers in them. After that, multiply all the factors at the, at the bottom, and that will be your LCD, okay? All right, let's take a look at an example. If you notice, we have our strategy guide on the right to guide our problem solving process. So the task is to find the LCD, find the LCD of three numbers, let's say 12, 42, and 30. Okay, so let's find the LCD of 12, 42, and 30. Step number one, first thing we're going to do is we're going to decompose each number into their prime factors, okay? So let's start with 12. Um, what's the first prime number that goes into 12? Well, since it is even, we know that two goes into it, right? So take out two, 12 divided by two is six. This is still even, we can take out another two, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is prime, so we're done. Okay, so the prime factor decomposition of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Now we're going to shift gears and take a look at 42. Now what do we do with this one? We're going to decompose it into prime factors just as we did with 12, okay? Since 42 is even, we can factor out 2. 2 goes into 42 21 times. Now, this is odd. We know 2 cannot go into it. How about 3? Can 3 go into 21? If you add the two digits, 2 plus 1 is 3. Since 3 goes into the sum of the digits, which is 3, that means 3 goes into 21. Or you can use your multiplication table. 
We all know that 3 times 7 is 21. So we extract 3. 21 divided by 8. 3 is 7. So what is the prime factor decomposition of 42? If you decompose 42 into its factors, it's 2 times 3 times 7. Okay? Now 30. We're going to carry out the same procedure with 30. We want to decompose 30 into the product of its prime factors. So 30 is even. So what can I extract from every even number? 2, right? 2 goes into every even number. 2 goes into 30 uh, 15 times. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now 15 ends with a 5. Any number that ends in 5 or 0 is divisible by what? Any number <clears throat> that ends with a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5, okay? So we can divide 15 by 5 and we are left with 3. <clears throat> so the prime factor decomposition of 30 is 2 times 5 times 3, okay? We all know how to do this. Now we're going to go into the really cool part, which is using our LCD charts to determine what the LCD of these three numbers are. Okay? So let's go ahead and create the chart. We have, let me just sketch it for you. So let's see. The first uh, row is going to be 12. The second row is going to be 42. And the third row is going to be uh, 30. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and put in our numbers. We have 12, 42, and 30. Okay, so that's the strategy that we talked about in step um, number three. When you fill in the charts, um, you, put the, you put the numbers on the, on the left side, okay? Now we're going to insert the prime factors into the right side of our chart. Remember, there is a method to populating this chart with the factors, okay? You can only put identical factors in the same column. Now the column is the chart is empty, so for 12, we don't have any restrictions. We can just put down the factors for 12. Okay, so we have 2 goes in the first column. You draw a line. And in the next column, you put in 2. And then in the last column, you put in 3. Okay, you can put numbers anywhere you want here because there's the chart is empty, okay? So 2 times 2 times 3. All right? Now, 42, we do not have free reign here. We cannot just put numbers anywhere. We have to pay close attention to the numbers that are already in each column, all right? So, the first factor of 42 is 2. Can I put 2 here? Absolutely, because this is a 2 column, okay? So I can put that 2 over here. The next factor is a 3. Can I put 3 under 2? Absolutely not. This is a 2 column. The numbers that go in this column must be 2 and nothing else. So we go over here. Can I put 3 here? Certainly, because this is a three column. Seven from 42. Can I put that here? No way, because this is a two column. We have to put it over here. Okay, so that's how you fill in the um, factors of 42 without um, uh, ruining your columns, okay? Now let's go with, take a look at 30. Do you see where the factors of 30, 2, 5, and 3 go into in this chart. Remember the rule, only identical factors can be placed in the same column, all right? So two, can I put two here? Yes, this is a two column. Five, can I put five here? No. How about here? No. How about here? No. I have to create a new column for five since we do not already have a five column. Now the last factor for 30 is three. Where can I put three? Right here. Now, this chart is extremely powerful. It tells you so many things other than just the LCD um, that I will be going over in uh, future tutorials. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at what this chart is telling us. Just by, this is just a side point. 
Since there is two in all three columns, what does that tell me? It tells me that two goes into all these three numbers. Three with two is a common factor, okay? And since there is a three in all three columns, what does that tell me? It tells me that three is also a common factor of all three numbers. That's just by the way, okay? Now, um, step four, we're to bring down the numbers in all the columns with numbers in them. So let's go ahead and bring them down. We're going to have two, two, three, seven, five. Okay? Step number five, simply multiply all these numbers with one another, and that will be your LCD. So let's extract them and find the product. So we're going to do two times two times three times seven times five, and that should be our LCD. So let's go ahead and figure it out. Two times two is four. Um, three times seven is 21 times five, and then four times 21, four times one, four, four times two is eight, 84 times five, and then uh, if we compute 84 times five, five times four is 20, zero carry two, five times eight is four, plus two is 40, sorry, plus two, 42. So our LCD is 420. So let's go ahead and write down what our answer means, the LCD of 1242 and 30 is 420. Now, what does this mean, though? What does this answer mean? This means that this is the smallest number that 12, 42, and 30 can go into evenly. Okay? Or 420, or 420 is divisible by 12, 42, and 30. That is the small number, smallest number that um, is divisible by these three numbers, okay? So this is a, basically the best way to find the LCD. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found this uh, tutorial helpful to you, uh, please give us a thumbs up. We'll appreciate your positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions um, on this tutorial or any uh, mathematical problem in general, just uh, place your question in the comment section below, and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on mathgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.